Today is our final day of cycling the Tibetan Plateau. In the next 120 kilometers, we must climb two 5,000 meter peaks and then descend over four vertical kilometers to the jungles of Nepal. The only thing standing in our way is the Chinese controlled border and the lack of a proper visa. This may not sound like your average day, but then again, this is not your ordinary life, and that is exactly how we like it. In January 2011, we left the comforts of home to follow a dream, to bike the Silk Road. We rode from Istanbul, Turkey, on the edge of Europe, to the Indian Himalaya. In 10 months, we rode 10,000 kilometers through 10 different countries. But this trip was not solely about adventure. We wanted to understand what type of environmental conservation can cultivate peaceful relations across borders. Over the course of our trip, we explored borderland regions, tracked migratory species, and interviewed local people, community development leaders, wildlife biologists, and government officials, all to better understand how borders impact the integrity of wild species and spaces. In the end, we found a sense of community and connectivity we never imagined possible. In Cycling the Silk Road, we learned to move, to think, and to dream beyond borders. Yay!